I didn't really get too much exposure and I wasn't getting the, the love that I thought I should get. Uh, I thought I was a pretty good athlete um, playing three sports um, in high school uh, with football being my best sport. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty difficult. Um, I really only had um, contact with Ivy League schools. So I was really uh, in contact with like Columbia, Cornell, uh, Harvard was one. kind of like a bunch of moving parts and I really didn't know what my future was going to be like as far as football and school. So it really came down to like the last minute of deciding on the University of Houston. I got to walk on somewhere like I want to play football. I love football and that at that point, I was just sending out uh, my film to like every college in the country. I literally go on every college's website, look up all their coaches, get their Twitter, email, phone numbers, and I was just sending out my film everywhere. Houston was the only school that reached back to me, which is crazy. It was just a special moment because it was like a testament to my, my hard work and dedication. Um, I put in like all this work for years and years to finally get to that point and have that opportunity to play. And uh, it was just an amazing moment to like finally get out there and, you know, uh, show like people what I can do at this level. And it was kind of, it meant a lot to me because it kind of proved to myself that like I was able to do this. I wasn't really getting recruited and I wasn't playing a lot in college. And it kind of, after a while, you're like, wow, like, am I even, like, good enough to play at this level? Like, am I in the right place? Like, all these thoughts go through your head. But um, it just felt good to finally get out there and prove it to myself. So it meant the world to me. Just got put on scholarship um, for this, this semester. So I started in August. Um, but after... I signed the papers and everything. Like the first person I called was my my dad. Like he's been my biggest supporter through all of this, and um, I'm just I love him so much for like pushing me to pursue my dreams and not give up on myself. Because there were times where I'm like I don't even know if like this is for me, but um, he's been my number one supporter since day one, and I had to give him the call first to let him know like I I did it, and just, it felt great to like let my dad know that like all this hard work that. Um, helped push me through and all the time he's put into me, um, driving me to games, um, feeding me, all this stuff, uh, putting me in the right position to be successful. Like I had to call him first to let him know that all that he's invested in me is paying off. I think the adversity has helped me grow in a lot personally. I've always been like a, a tough kid like I'm I'm never I've never been a quitter so like all this adversity is nothing new to me but I think it just helps reinforce the hard work and staying true to yourself staying true to your dreams and doing whatever you can to achieve those dreams so I'm appreciative for the adversity I know it sucks at times but like it's a good challenge like I love challenges I love pushing through I love proving people wrong